The S-550 was a proposed manned space capsule, designed in 2005–06 at Ventura Aerospace, in response to the NASA Commercial Orbital Transportation Services program to provide commercial resupply and logistics support for the International Space Station after the retirement of the Space Shuttle. It was an outgrowth of earlier Ventura Aerospace manned capsule research and development projects. NASA did not select the design for further funded development, and the company has not to date proceeded to develop the vehicle with private funding. Ventura Aerospace did not participate in the second COTS program round in 2007. Description The S-550 capsule was intended to carry up to six people normally two or three and significant internal and external cargo on resupply missions to the International Space Station Unlike the other COTS competitors, the S-550 capsule was explicitly a human-operated vehicle. While it had automated flight functions, it was intended to be flown with crews for any space station mission, using manned control for all rendezvous and dockings with ISS. Topic: <laughs> Design The overall vehicle was designed was for a 3.0 meters, 10 feet diameter ballistic capsule weighing 7500 kilograms, 16500 pounds including payloads. The capsule was projected to weigh 3059 kilograms, 6744 pounds. Wet with two crew and consumables, but not cargo, the service module 1,755 kg 3,869 pounds, wet, including rocket propellants, and 2,300 kg 5,100 pounds of internal cargo or passengers within the capsule. Additional mass in external unpressurized cargo could be obtained with increased launch vehicle capacity beyond 7,500 kg or by trading off internal cargo for external cargo. <laughs> <laughs> Capsule shape The S-550 capsule is a sphere cone type lifting ballistic space capsule, similar to the shape of the film capsule re-entry modules in the Corona spy satellite, but much larger. The general shape was also used by COTS competitor T. Space's CXV capsule. The capsule design shape had a spherical nose section diameter of 0.8 of the base diameter and 10 degree conical half angle see atmospheric re-entry. Topic. Capsule layout The capsule consisted of two structures, an outer aeroshell, which supported the ablative heat shield, thermal protection system, and an inner pressurized cylinder containing the crew, systems, and cargo space. Most of the spacecraft systems were at the front of the cylinder, up against the front bulkhead. The crew were seated in one row near the rear bulkhead and access hatch, with two crew. Seats on the sides with flight controls on the rear bulkhead and one passenger in the middle. Cargo was carried in the middle of the capsule, at the capsule's center of gravity, to simplify loading effects on re-entry angles and lift. <laughs> Descent and landing The S-550 capsule was intended to descend under a parachute system and touch down on land, using an inert aluminum foam crush structure in the nose of the capsule to attenuate the roughly 7 m per second touchdown velocity. The landing did not require any active controls or systems to operate safely. Emergency landings in the water were handled by capsule flotation systems. Topic. Service module The service module was intended to provide rocket thrusters to control spacecraft attitude and provide orbital maneuvering capability to rendezvous with the International Space Station and then re-enter the Earth's atmosphere. 
It included some structure, propellant tanks, and rocket motor systems. <laughs>